What's going on guys, it's Zigzag here with another video. This one's a little bit different. Today I'm going to be uh, giving you guys some tips and tricks for distinguishing Australia from other countries and also distinguishing the different states uh, from one another. So Australia, I would say it's commonly confused with New Zealand and South Africa and the other South African countries that you get. Um, that's because they all drive left-hand side and they all use fairly similar sign systems and, you know, have pretty similar vegetation too. So in this video I'll like talk about the different states so it's worthwhile uh, knowing them and knowing where the populations are. Um, so yeah, review that if you don't know them already. Um, so first things first is uh, I've got a graph here of where the people live in Australia, the population density, and you can see from the satellite image uh, once again it's completely dry in the middle and basically no one lives there and so you're unlikely to get rounds. And actually, let's drag the little man out so we can see the coverage. So, yeah, you can pretty much see what roads are covered in Australia. Basically, if you think you're in the middle of the outback, it's probably this road running along here, or maybe this one running along the south coast. Um, and you do get some in Western Australia here and some in the inland of Queensland. They're pretty outback, but it's not that much coverage. So um, if you want to hedge a bet, Obviously, you go somewhere in here. Alrighty. Uh, next thing is the topography. So, uh, Australia is a very flat country. And you basically get the mountains on the east coast, the Blue Mountain Ranges. Um, and there's a few other mountain ranges. But generally, if you're seeing very high mountains, you might be in New Zealand. If you're seeing snow-peaked mountains, you're probably in New Zealand. It's probably not Australia. Um, but, yeah, that's the main mountain range. Uh, next up, we've got the license plates. So, um, four of the um, states and territories use blue, um, uh, of which one of them is Canberra, the Australian Capital Territory, so you probably won't get too many rounds there. Um, but Tasmania, uh, Victoria, and Western Australia all have the blue plates. Um, the blue strip on Western Australia will often... Um, be seeable through the blur, and also same with this uh, uh, state emblem on the Victorian number plates. This this triangle you can often also see through the blur. Um, apart from that, Queensland has a slightly darker uh, maroon red than the Northern Territory, and the yellow plates are not always in New South Wales, but I think it's the old style, but you definitely get them at least half the time in New South Wales, so that's a super good clue, and it's very easy to distinguish, of course. Um, next up is the phone codes. Um, so these would be useful because they're a lot of the time on local businesses, and you can see 02, 02 for uh, the Australian Capital Territory and New South Wales, 03 for um, Victoria and Tasmania, and 07 for Queensland, oh wait, for the rest. So good to know uh, if you can be bothered uh, going through that kind of thing. All right, next up is the signage. Now, Australia shares the these kinds of um, warning signs uh, with the Americas. It's got the uh, yellow system yellow and black system rather than the uh, white and red. So that's a good clue. Um, helps you narrow down clues, uh, helps you narrow down the round a lot uh, when you know about that kind of thing. All right, next up, uh, we have the Australian bollards. Uh, this is what they look like. On the one side of the road, on the left-hand side of the road, because you drive left in Australia, uh, you have the white one with the red um, little reflector on it, and on the opposite side of the road, you have uh, the same thing with a grey reflector, and it's often a little bit longer than the red one, you can see. All right, moving on. Uh, in Western Australia, and I'm not sure if this extends beyond Western Australia, but I've definitely most commonly seen it there, you'll have a little grey, grey-black uh, foot at the bottom of the bollards, and so you can use that to tell that you might be in Western Australia. Okay, moving on, uh, there are countries that have quite similar bollards to Australia that you don't want to confuse. So here's Turkey, has a very similar bollard to Australia. They're often a bit thinner and a bit shorter, uh, but don't get them confused. They often use, they also use the white road lines, which Australia does too. So um, oh, you, you'll be able to tell uh, based on like the European signs, European style signs and whatnot, that you are not in Australia when you see this, but 
good to know, so you don't get confused. All right, next up is the New Zealand bollards, and the New Zealand ones are quite interesting. They, um, on the right-hand side of the road, they wrap the whole way around, and on the left-hand side of the road, it's got a it's a, got a white gap in the middle, and these happen to be the exact same ones as in Poland, um, so not entirely sure why that is. Um, oh, and also another good thing that I found on this one is that um, New Zealand's uh, center lines can be yellow. They're mostly all white, uh, but if you see yellow ones, you're probably not in Australia. All right, moving on. Uh, here's Ecuador's bollard, also similar. I think these are the only countries, Poland as well, but yeah, the Ecuadorian ones, also quite similar to the Australian ones, but obviously it's quite a different looking country, so you shouldn't get too confused. So the Australian giveaway signs I've just figured out recently uh, they are similar to the English ones, and they have black text in the middle. And also, there's no uh, giveaway uh, triangle on the on the actual road itself, which you do find in South Africa and also New Zealand. So here's New Zealand, and as you can see, you've got the um, the white triangle on the road. And if we get a bit closer here, you can see that this has red text on it. And I'm pretty sure that's for the whole of New Zealand, but it might not always be that way. I'm not sure. Uh, next up, um, we have uh, South Africa. And I just wanted to show this because it kind of looks like Australia. But you've got the white lines on the outside. And you just almost never find that in Australia unless um, it's a no parking zone. But if you're on a highway and you've got these yellow lines on the outside, then you know you're not in Australia. Probably South Africa or somewhere in Southern Africa. All right. Uh, another thing to... A note is that um, Australia has some Generation 1 footage, which you shouldn't get on maps like Diverse World, but um, you might get on the world map. Um, I think it's only Australia, New Zealand, and um, Amer United States that have the Generation 1 footage, but you can tell. just It should be easy to tell. It's such low quality that you can barely make out any clues. And likewise, in Australia, a lot of the time off the beaten track, you get Generation 2 um, footage, where you have this um, wide blur at the bottom, and then a kind of halo that you should be able to see here, kind of halo um, in the sky, uh, and that will tell you that you're in Generation 2. And, you know, it's useful to know which countries can and can't have Generation 2, so, yeah. Okay, now I'll move on to some more specific uh, hints um, that will only be useful some of the time, but... Hopefully they are to you. So this is the Cocos Islands, um, an Australian territory, and this is the Meta. So if you see this one with the uh, kind of chimney-looking snorkel, um, then you are here in the Cocos Keeling Islands. Uh, likewise, if you get a Meta that has the uh, kind of steel ute or the steel pickup truck, um, then you are in the Christmas Islands right nearby. That actually has a little bit of coverage, so you could, it's quite possible that you get there at some point. All right, moving on. Um, this one is a, quite a specific hint that uh, some old guy told me at some point. I live in South Australia, and in South Australia you get these poles which have old railway tracks on either side, and they're pretty much everywhere in South Australia. So if you see this, um, I don't know if it's only South Australia, but certainly the majority of them in South Australia do look like this. And yeah, they will often be rusted, but sometimes they'll look a bit newer. And yeah, it's recycled railroads, so quite interesting. And then sometimes you'll have the light popping out at the top there. All right, moving on. Um, here's another quite specific hint, but it could certainly come in use, is that um, only the Northern Territory um, has 130 and 120 kilometre signs. Um, the rest, the maximum speed limit in the rest of Australia is 110, but if you see 130, um, then you know that you're in the Northern Territory. And this is also a good opportunity to showcase, like, the vegetation in the Northern Territory. Uh, it's quite a bit greener, um, and a bit more vibrant than the rest of the outback, but you still have the red soil. Um, and also, here's, a, here's another a bit of meta. You have a white car with a long antenna. Or like a medium-sized antenna, maybe that is. Uh, once again, here we are in Australia, another example of the antenna, and also these uh, little dashes on the outside of the road. Now, I just wanted to bring them up because I think they are more common in New Zealand. Like, uh, this is an example of, in Australia, or this is in South Australia. Um, but 
uh, I do find that if I see these, I'm more likely to be in New Zealand. Also, both Australia and New Zealand kind of have this blue car um, meta, and I think that's... No, I don't know where in Australia you can get it, but I have seen in both, so it's worth keeping in mind. All right, final clue, and this is actually... I probably should have put this in the first part because it's quite important, but um, Australia tends to have white road signs, and um, New Zealand tends to have blue ones, and uh, or coloured ones. So if you see white road signs, you're more likely to be in Australia. Now, you will find these, but blue or other colours yet... Um, you can see there's another coloured one there, and they can indicate, you know, um, clubs or churches or different things. But for the actual road signs, the street signs, generally um, white. And there's another example of the uh, ra railway um, posts in South Australia here. All right, so I think that pretty much concludes uh, what I want to, what I had to say for this one. Um, I'll, I would. Uh, Consider doing another one of these if uh, this one is successful and if people want to know more. Um, but that's pretty much all the stuff I use um, beyond like having a feel for it because I'm a native. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching and have a good one.